good. I mean, we're real happy. Actually, this has kind of paid off from a racing standpoint and a business standpoint because uh, we're going fast with those bikes, and that's why I got a, a shop full of those guys that are wanting to duplicate that same bike. So, from that standpoint, I guess if you're winning, you're, you're on top. So, so. so, you've won pretty much all season. You have what, one, one runner up finish? One runner up, which is the last race we lost to uh, Joe Franco, a kid out of New Jersey. Actually, he's out of New York, but New Jersey is pretty much his home track, so he lost a little Joe at his track. Then you had a little trouble with the weather and testing and uh, time to set up your equipment. Yeah, we, we got there, and um, we didn't even think we was going to get to race. We got there um, Friday to test, as we normally do. Didn't get to test Friday. Didn't even get to test Saturday because it was raining. So um, so basically, we got to go in blind Sunday morning, got one round of qualifying, and um, I had the bike just real rich, and it would hardly, well, it got down the track, I think. 18 or 80, I can't remember, but um, not where we wanted to be. And uh, we started making changes and um, going forward. And actually going into the finals, we knew that Little Joe was the most consistent bike there all weekend. And um, we had went quicker than he had, but not nothing to really put money in the bank on. So uh, we actually we had the bike turned up, not real hard, but harder than we normally do because we wanted we were real interested in trying to lay down a good number and uh, set a record. But uh, we kind of neglected the. the and forgot that little Joe was running fast too and um, we got to the top of the track and from what John told me said the bike started getting light and um, he chopped the throttle actually a total of three different times and he said the third time when the, when he chopped the throttle the bike touched down and head shook real bad and at that point he had to just let it go. So what's the, what's the uh, weather forecast like for Norwalk, Ohio this from weekend? what I understand, I hadn't personally looked at it myself, but actually I had a couple of buddies call me from out that way. They said it's supposed to be in the 30s and the 40s, which is not my type of weather at yeah. night time. So. But you say it's, it's kind of advantageous for this kind of Yeah, this actually, bike. exactly. Um, the turbocharger is definitely going to perform better with the cool air. So, um, it gets what you call an intercooling effect with the um, air coming in. You're going to get cool air coming into, into the intake. And, in turn going into the motor and so therefore the bike's going to produce more horsepower. The only catch 22 to that, um, generally if you got cool air like that, um, you really don't have the best track conditions which in turn could kind of promote some wheel spin because of the whole surface but generally with a short wheelbase like that bike is, we generally don't have that issue and we've got a pretty good tire that the Shinko tires work for us all year and I don't think we'll have traction issues to be honest with you. because uh, the record that we hold in that class is, is nowhere even near what we've actually turned with this bike at home testing in Valdosta. So our goal at this race is to hopefully at least duplicate some of the, some of the numbers that we've done at home. We've, we've actually made some changes to the bike, which oddly enough to have a winning bike and to make changes to it going into a race seems odd, but I think we've made some productive changes. We've actually added weight to the bike legally, but but actually put the stock wheels back on the bike, which in turn will hang about five more pounds off the front end, and we're hoping that serves as a ballast. Um, all before we were trying to get the thing light, but we put some more weight at the front, and that's the only way we can do it, is put it up front, is put the factory wheels back on it. Um, just simply right now, at this point, um, we're wanting to put more power to the bike, and we're kinda, we've are kind of we reached a, a point right now where we're playing with fire. I mean, if we put more power to the bike, it's, it's almost like playing a lottery. We may, everything may align and we may luck up and get a good pass like we've done at Valdosta. We've got some real good passes and luckily I don't know if it's just no pressure on us during testing and then we'll get in competition and just the bike will get light in the front end and we just can't keep it, which in turn, what that's what happened to us. We're against little Joe up in Atco. We just, we had real good power put to the bike and we just couldn't pin the throttle and use it because the front end was getting light. set the record at a 784. During that time we claimed that record it was simply um, for points because there were some additional points. I mean we were gunning at that point for a championship and so we claimed the record at an event even though the prior event we had actually won a 780 but we were so happy to beat, and beat Ricky Getz and after the first event that we didn't even manage to go to the top of the track and claim the record, which we would have been a 780 at that event. And um, we kind of got lost in the moment there and <laughs> didn't think about it to the next race. So actually, but the 780 uh, is, the, is the quickest we've been in, in competition, actually, in an AMA event. But realistically speaking, we're actually gunning for some for some low 70s to claim a record. Um, 
us. We want a low 70 for the record, but it would be our kind of dream come true and big moment to go high six. Huh? We set a record last year with Richard. Um, it didn't hold long for us, so we had a 1,000 that we were running against last year. It just gave all of us in that class hell. But everything this year, we hold all, we hold the current record in that class. Right? Now, you're also, you're currently the points leader in the class, and uh, basically the, you're, you're going into this race, and the last race is in Valdosta, that's next month, and uh, you guys are going and expecting to be crowned. How's that feel? Feels real good, because I mean, we, me and John, actually, we work pretty hard. It just be honest with you, kind of step away from a, a typical nine to five job and that was almost like a personal demon to do that stuff for so many years going to races off and on. I wasn't doing it full time at that point either, but it still hurt to see guys that you knew you were just as capable, if not better, to actually beat, but just because I wasn't spending the time with the bikes like I needed to. So to come out really my first year and actually score a championship, that feels real, 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 real,